Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup. Today we're diving into the latest back and forth between Harlem rap legend Cameron and basketball player Liangelo Ball. This feud started when Cam threw some shade at Gelo's career, and things escalated quickly from there. If you're here for the details and drama, stick around because we're breaking it all down in today's video. So, this all kicked off on Cameron's sports talk show, It Is What It Is, when Killa Cam made some harsh comments about Liangelo's career. He basically mocked Gelo for not making it into the NBA like his brothers, Lonzo and Lamelo. Cam even joked that the best Gelo could do was a tryout in China, saying, he ain't NBA good. Now, we all know the Ball brothers have had their own unique journeys, but this jab seemed to hit Gelo hard. Cam sarcastically said, we did everything we could for you. We got a tryout in China for you. That's all we got. Liangelo wasn't having it and clapped back on his own podcast, What an Experience, which he co-hosts with Lonzo Ball and friends. Gelo fired a shot at Cam's career, saying the only thing he remembers from Cameron is the track suck it or not with Lil Wayne. He reminded Cam that he's been grinding in the G League and that Cam doesn't really know his story. Gilo said, you don't know what I did in the G League, boy. I'm out here hooping. What's up, y'all? It's Jello from the Weight Podcast with Lonzo Ball. All right, hold on real quick. Put my shades on for these niggas. Everybody want to mention my name. I'm not one of them dudes that's doing all that tit for tat. So this is new for me. I'm not going to lie. This is new for me. This must be some old school shit. Ten fingers. So, nigga just talking. Elder folks like to say a whole lot of nothing sometimes. And I was trying to keep it cool, bro. Like, I ain't really got no problem with him. You can hate me, bro. Cameron can hate me, nigga. I'll wake up the same tomorrow. I'm really not tripping on none of that. At the end of the day, shit, I'm good. Bro, putting words in my mouth. I ain't say suck it or not the only song I heard or whatnot, but um, that's just the song that came to my mind. But anyway, since you want to talk about all the rap shit and I'm not good and I'm not this and I'm not that, bro, and all that. And yeah, it's no beef, but uh, I've never talked to someone and you've been, not ne nobody says you've been in top five, top 10, bro. Like, I've never heard your name in no rap combo. I'm not going to lie. So we, we in the same boat, nigga. I didn't make the league and you ain't in no top 10. So we, we, we the same. Y'all talking like Cameron, like, like he the Messiah, flame. Oh, he don't want to talk to killer. Like, nigga, <laughs> I don't care, bro. I don't. Nigga, you, I ain't even go up on this nigga's 50. He's 50, bro. Like, and you heard of us from our pops. Like, yeah, you heard of us from our pops. Nigga, the world heard of us from Big Baller. Shout out LeVar Ball. Hell yeah. Shit, what you think? Nigga had us hooping at four years old. Nigga, the whole world know us because of LeVar Ball, nigga. Yeah, it's in the blood. Nigga, I grew up listening to 50 Cent and DMX. Like, nigga, I don't care if Cameron don't like me, bro. Nigga, I don't listen to no Cameron music. Yeah, I don't jump in my whip and get the bumping. I don't know you, bro. Yeah, I'm 25, nigga. You 50. I had to take a pause, nigga. You might not know my name. Shit, now that I think about it, everybody know my story, but you don't know my name. Well, nigga, you read something. You read something, right? We can go back and forth all day. Like, it's really nothing. And Mace, I never said shit about no politics, bro. I don't even talk like that. I ain't, you'll never hear me say, oh, I ain't make the league because of, of the politics. Yeah, that ain't me. Nah, I don't care, bro. He told me, oh, why his brothers hoop? He don't hoop. Nigga, I hoop. I go to open gyms, I hoop. You want to come hoop? Because I'm good. Like, in the game there. So, what am I mad at? Nothing. Got my shades on, nigga. Man, and, and they going to keep saying, Gino this, Gino that, bro, nigga. It's Jello. Jello, bro. Leangelo. I know y'all know that. You might have heard this shit on the news or something. He need Trump to fly out there, nigga. I been out before Trump came over there. Shout out UCLA administration, bro. I been out. They, they got me out and I was well and good. And another thing, bro. Y'all started this shit. I've never mentioned Cameron or Mace ever first. I've had nothing to say about them. They talking about, I just come into the pod room one day. They caught me off guard, for real. Like, I ain't even trying to get into all that. I'm not. Dude, what is this? Yeah, you fell for that trick, bro. I know y all, y all, the people the people above you, bro, they got you trying to argue with fellow brothers on the podcast, man. Because if you wanted to get it right, y'all should have came on the pod with us, nigga. We all funny. But you fell for the okie doke, bro. Put them against each other. Shit ain't for everybody, man. It is what it is. <laughs> but, of course, Cameron wasn't going to let that slide. On a follow-up episode of It Is What It Is, Cam doubled down claiming he only knows Gilo because of his father, LeVar Ball's marketing genius. He even brought up Gilo's infamous arrest in China for alleged shoplifting, saying, you're lucky Trump was in China because they might have cut your fingers off over stealing those sunglasses. 
That one hit hard, but G-Lo wasn't backing down. Cam laughed, saying, LeVar had two sons he was right about. G-Lo, I just gotta call it like I see it. Killer, did you hear what Gino, G, um, what's his name? One of the Ball brothers said about you? Yeah, yeah, I seen Hello. that. Gino. Yeah, I seen that. Hello. <laughs> he, said, he said that he's still good. Only song you know from me is Suck It or Not. Uh, I could rap, but then he said, he could play. He could play both. Stat sent it to me. I did. And then uh, he said, "Thank you for giving his props." So he said, "Only thing you know from me for is suck it or not, pause." And I'm like, "I only know you because your father's a great marketer, nigga. I wouldn't know you for it wasn't for Lamar, Lavar Ball. That's the only reason I know you, nigga. And, and listen, if you can ball, I wish you the best of luck." He said, over "It's there. politics. It's politics. It's That's the reason why he he's not playing. Why his brother's playing? They in politics." I'm trying to figure out what's the, what's the, what's the reason the yeah. brothers is playing. Yeah. Shout <laughs> out to G, with Gino. Jello. Jello. You don't even know the nigga name. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You know LeVar name? LeVar Master Shout Mark. Shout out I to Jello. I, I fuck with the nigga LeVar B. That nigga's a market, marketing master, man. And he had two sons that he was right about. And Jello. Jello? Yes, Jello yeah. Ball. Jello, look, I ain't got no problem with you. I just got to call it like I see it. You're lucky Trump was in China. You might have cut your fingers off over there stealing sunglasses, nigga. He's over there stealing, nigga. <laughs> so where does this leave us? Leangelo Ball hit back once more, brushing off Cam's comments by saying he's not losing sleep over it, adding that he's never even heard Cameron's name in a top 10 rap list. It's safe to say neither of them is backing down anytime soon. This war of words between Gilo and Cam seems more personal now, but only time will tell if they'll settle it or keep taking shots. What do you think? Will this beef escalate or is it all just talk? Thanks for watching everyone. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more updates on all the hottest drama and news. See you next time on the Red Carpet Reup.